Hello, my name is David Newbury. Ten years ago, my wife Nicola and I set up Friends of Hoi Ha to protect Hoi Ha Wan Marine Park and Site of Special Scientific Interest, which you see behind me. This area and the area surrounding Hoi Ha, which is a uh, site of outstanding natural beauty, is under greater threat than ever by government plans which will triple the size of the village and provide building lands for another 60 houses, all with septic tanks. I'm about to take you on a tour of Hoi Ha Wan and Hoi Ha and I'll show you the problems. This is a map of the Hoi Ha development permission area and on it is marked the recently published draft outline zoning plan which has been arrived at by the Town Planning Board. You'll notice that the present village of Hoi Ha occupies a central area here. To the north of the village is Hoi Ha Wan Marine Park and Site of Special Scientific Interest and the west, south and east of the village is completely surrounded by Sai Kung East Country Park. To the northwest of the village flows the Hoi Ha Stream which comes down from Pak Shao and flows into the, into the Hoi Ha Wan at this point. The draft outline zoning plan has thankfully included a large conservation area to the east of the village on particularly important forest area. It also recognises a coastal protection area to the north of the village although there are some problems with this in that the coastline is no longer of this shape and actually comes quite close to the village at, at this point so the coastal protection area has got an insufficient boundary in reality. At this point we have a green belt which we are concerned offers very little protection against future building and in the central part it's a hugely expanded V zone giving space for probably in the region of 60 to 70 houses which will more than triple the size of the present village. We're going to commence a walk in a minute which is going to start at this point here which is a convergence of the coastal protection area V zone and green belt. We'll then walk along the green belt across the Hoi Ha stream, up the coastline and end up at this point here, a spit of sand so we can then observe the landscape of the area which has been scheduled for development. This clip starts by showing the area which has been zoned for building. The area is described by the town planning board as abandoned farmland. Yes it was abandoned but nearly 50 years ago and is now a mature secondary forest the flat area in front has been zoned as green belt and described as abandoned farmland covered in weeds and grass. Not a very scientific description for a wonderful area of wetland full of interesting plants and insects. Government maps do not show any streams in the area. In fact, the whole of the area zoned for building is a complex of streams and marshland with an extremely high water table. This is not a good place to install 50 odd septic tanks as the effluent will not be treated properly in saturated soil and will flow down through the streams and marshland into this small stream and on into Hoi Ha Wan. What a pity if this pretty little stream, which is full of fish and crustaceans, should become effectively an open sewer. Unfortunately, the environmental protection policy not only breaks the law in allowing septic tanks to be situated within 100 metres of sites of special scientific interest, it also fails to ask applicants who wish to install septic tanks for the results of percolation tests which would fail in waterlogged soil. Greenbelt zoning does not ensure effective protection. There are many cases in Hong Kong where greenbelts have been sacrificed for building land. The Town Planning Board is already stating that the Green Belt is a reservoir of land for future building. The area not only contains an environmentally important marshland, it also contains associate mangroves which are part of the coastal ecosystem. We are now moving on to the Hoi Ha stream, which has several rare species of fish, a protected eel, and on its banks, protected plants. The processes of building envisaged would cause runoff into the stream and septic tank effluent may easily find its way into the water. The stream leads directly out into Hoi Ha Wan. Corals and other marine creatures are extremely sensitive to pollution, particularly non-biodegradable detergents and bleaches. Effluent from 60 houses will be flowing through the stream system directly into Hoi Ha Wan if government gets its way. 
Hoi Hub is a site of outstanding natural beauty and the government has a duty to safeguard the landscape of the area. However, no proper landscape assessment has been carried out by government and the draft outlined zoning plan merely talks about land use. So this area has been assessed as degraded, the lowest form of assessment and not worthy of any kind of protection. This is the area where the building is envisaged. If we do not stop the government plans, we could see a situation where the corals and other marine life are killed by pollution and the beaches will be closed because of the threat to public health and the landscape of this unique place will be destroyed. There are already measurable quantities of E. coli in the water from the existing 30 houses but in non-dangerous concentrations. However, what will happen when there are another 60 plus septic tanks discharging effluents into the environment? Can Hong Kong really afford to gamble the future of a place like Hoi Ha Wan just to pack in more houses which will not help Hong Kong's housing shortage and will not provide housing for indigenous villagers as envisaged by the small house policy? We have a deadline. The public consultation on the Hoi Ha outlined zoning plan finishes on the 27th of November. After that, it may be too late to do anything. So, what can you do to help save Hoi Ha? Firstly, you can sign our petition, which can be found on our website, friendsofhoiha.com. The QR codes will be shown at the end of this video. Secondly, you can write to the Town Planning Board expressing your objection to the draft OZP and demanding that government zone the Hoiha Development Permission Area for conservation, not for development. We will be posting a sample letter on our website. Thirdly, you need to spread the word and to get your friends to sign the petition. Hoi Ha is under threat and time is running out. Here are the contact details. We will leave you with some shots of this forest which will be completely destroyed by building if these plans go ahead. Help us to save Hoi Ha.